this is a routine Dr. Carl Perkins knows like the back of his hand. Adjusting his oxygen tank, putting on his fins, and strapping up his goggles so he can dive deep into an aquarium tank. I actually started here uh, shortly after the building was completed, the facility was completed, and the program was really in its, in its infancy at that time. I did it and kept doing it. Here I am. Dr. Perkins has been a volunteer diver at the National Aquarium for 42 years, making him one of the aquarium's longest standing volunteers. We have few staff that even have that type of longevity as well. Dr. Perkins' tenure as a volunteer diver has even outlasted his 39-year career in education. He says his passion for ocean conservation and marine life keep him coming back for more. It's a really big issue for me. I'm very concerned about um, our oceans and how we take care of them. Um, it just so happens that I, I have the skill of being able to scuba dive, so that helps me keep in, in touch with that. As a volunteer, Dr. Perkins feeds the animals, helps clean the tanks, and gives educational talks to the public. Our volunteer team takes a ton of work off of the staff members' plates. But in July, Dr. Perkins will dive into the aquarium's tanks for the last time. He's retiring as a volunteer, but he hopes his four decades as one of the few black scuba divers in the program inspires others. It would be nice to have, uh, you know, all groups represented as well. I hope to be a, a role model for all kids, no matter how many are interested in the oceans or interested in just scuba diving in general. Empowering the next generation of long-standing volunteers to take a deep dive into all that the aquarium has to offer. I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.